welcome to Allianz Park, home of Saracens Rugby Club, and also all of Middlesex's sports science students. Uh, we have all of our state-of-the-art sports labs here. It's a fantastic place. It's just down the road from uh, Middlesex. So, as you can see, it's a lovely, lovely day here. Um, we've got all of our sports labs inside. We have an indoor running track for sports science students who spend a lot of their practical time on. It's actually the indoor running track from the London 2012 Olympics, which luckily has been moved here just for us to use. Um, we also have, obviously, the state-of-the-art 4G pitch, which if you're lucky, you might get to go on in a couple of sessions. And as well, we have a running track that runs around the outside. And we have the Shaftesbury Barnet Harriers uh, running club gym, which gets used for a lot of experiments as well. So if you want to come with us, we'll take you guys up inside the building, up into where we are on the first floor. We have all of our sports classrooms. So if you want to come meet the teacher or you guys have an experiment that you need help with, this is where you would come to kind of basically find help. If you want to come and sit in the 100 pub or whatever, whichever space they give us upstairs to sit and have lunch or do some work in, then you're more than welcome to come here. So if you don't, if you don't have any classes in the afternoon or you want to just stay here and get some work done, that's totally fine as well. This is where you'll come. Be for normal tutorials normal small group lectures that you'll have here um, during the day. Then we'll move on to APO2. So the benefit about being at this place is that they've got a ton of state-of-the-art equipment, which is really, we're basically quite privileged to get to use it. So one of the best things about it, so we've got this enormous woodway treadmill. Um, we get to use it for doing things like VO2 max tests, coming in Fortner tests. Um, we have Velotron, which we use for all sorts of different things as well. All of this equipment is very high tech and very state of the art stuff and you're very lucky to kind of get to use it all the time. So this is pretty much a very basic view of what you'll get to do in your sort of lab space. We have the DEXA scanner as well, which allows you to be able to find out people's bone density, fat mass, non-fat mass, all sorts of things that will come very valuable when you guys are doing physiology. So APO3 is our biggest sort of learning space that we have here at Allianz Park. We have, first off, we have one of our like, we have one of our squat racks here loaded up on the force plate. So the force plate is something that you will use tons when you guys are studying sports science. It's something that gets used a lot for a lot of the different experiments you could do. It will help you find out a whole range of different things on one piece of equipment. Uh, again, we have fantastic aeromedic bikes, which are great because Again, you'll use these every week. Like these are very commonplace on your course. We have weight racks at the front that allow you to decide how much resistance is on the bike. So you'll have athletes who go through experiments where they have to adapt to how much resistance is put on the bike gradually or will gradually increase. And they'll have to respond to that in time. And we will then be able to measure blood lactate. We can measure heart rates, which is what we have monitors out here for. The with, with this machine? Yeah, but it's just, just on this machine. So, all of them. <laughs> yeah, so the heart rate's get tied up to you, the weights get put on, all of this happens just through using the bikes. Wow. Um, so then we have that, we have the Biodex, which is a really, really good piece of equipment because it allows you to investigate sort of power and range of motion you guys have through individual limbs. So if you think you're like one leg is stronger than the other or vice versa, then this is the piece of equipment to use and we use it all throughout different experiments that we'll do um, during your course. So all, all of you will get taught to use these equipment. Like you won't have to have staff constantly looking over your shoulder the whole time. Like they won't have to be supervising all the time because you will get trained to use this stuff. You'll be expected when you're in third year running your own experiments for your dissertation to be able to use all of this. Um, we have, for those of us who like a couple of pub games, <laughs> we have darts boards. Or for sports psychology oh, yeah. included. Sports yeah. So the dartboard is really, really good. I know it seems like quite a sort of innocuous piece of equipment, but it gets used a lot for sports psychology experiments that we have um, because it requires such a fine level of accuracy that the slightest sort of change in pressure or anxiety or competition of wanting to you know, beat your friends or win a prize, it changes kind of how you play the game and 
can cause people to kind of fall apart and play a lot worse. So it's a really good sort of investigation to see how people can handle pressure. Um, again, we have another force plate. They're very hard to get hold of, but luckily this room has three of them. So just bear in mind that you guys are very lucky to have the chance to kind of use the equipment we do and you do get the chance to come and use it, make the most of it, be very hands-on with it. Don't kind of sit back and let other people do all the stuff on the computer. Don't let everyone just use the perfect. Give yourself the best chance to learn as much about it as possible by being very, very involved. If you come here and you get the chance to do stuff that's really applied, then make sure you're making the most of it. Because if it comes to the time when you guys need to do practical exams or use them for your dissertation, you need to know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Because the teachers are going to be less likely to help you if you've turned up for two years and not put in much effort. So make sure that you're very interested in what you're doing. Good advice. Obviously, squat rack, which anyone who's ever been to a gym will know what that's used for. Um, again, use for various different experiments. And then if your dissertation, you want to come up with something that incorporates it, then go for it. Because obviously the teachers will encourage you to kind of have that freedom to create with your own sort of ideas. As you can see, all the little anatomy models we have here. Uh, so this, this is all is, in your body. <laughs> yes. Um, this is our room where all the rehab students study. So a lot of anatomy goes on in here, learning where muscles insert, learning where nerves enter and end. Um, as you can see, we've got all the treatment beds out because they have to learn sports massage, physiotherapy, all sorts of different skills. So a lot of them will be based in here because this is sort of just the rehabber's space. No one else really comes in here apart from them. Come here and take a nap as well. <laughs> yes, if, 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 it, if it's free and it's dark in here and it's not got the air conditioning on, then um, but yeah, I think everyone in first year will be doing some level of anatomy, which means that having one of these guys will be your best friend for that. Oh, I wanted to get one of these actually. Yeah, so these are very handy. As you can see, that's Barry. Barry. He has a, he's got his own name tag with him. Okay. Um, but yeah, so they're very, very handy for first year anatomy, learning sort of names of all of the bones, all of the different vertebrae, all of the specific terms that are used, all the different parts of each of the different types of bones. These are all things you'll have to learn in first year. Um, and then last but not least. Oh, there's also a laptop. Yeah. yeah. So we have the borrow laptops here because this is our computer room. It's because that's everywhere, even in yeah. this building. Yeah, because obviously not everyone has the facilities to bring a laptop with them. If you're mm -hmm. in a home computer and you don't have a laptop, you're still catered for here. And then obviously the room itself has a bunch of computers in it. And this is where you guys will have, again, more tutorials, more lectures. If you guys have work to do, this is a great place to come to do it. So this is the indoor running track, which is very conveniently not got any of the lights on. Um, what is this for? This thing? So uh, this enormous net here, as you can see from the round spot in front, is where they practice um, hammer throw, discus, and shot put, which are three throwing exercises that happen in the athletics. So the running track that we're on right now is the same indoor running track that they built at Stratford for the 2012 Olympics. So that's a pretty cool piece of sort of trivia. Um, but they brought it, which means it's like super high tech. It's kind of the best sort of thing. Loads of GB athletes come down here and practice on the track. And there's a long jump. So I'll show you this round a little bit. So we've got the high jump bed here which is effectively just an enormous mattress. So if you guys turn up 15 minutes early, if you're at 9am and you want to have a quick power nap, then go this for is it. The place to come. <laughs> Jump on top um, of the bed. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the little running track in here. And the very end, mm. we have the long jump pit, which we I think only ever really used once in our course. Um, but you'll see GB athletes in here and high level elite athletes practicing in here, practicing sprinting, practicing all sorts of technique stuff. And it's really impressive to watch, like really impressive to watch. If you like sports, then it's fantastic. But yeah, for sports science students, this is where a ton of your classes will happen. All of your applied stuff will mostly happen down here. Uh, if the weather is super nice, you might be out on the running track that surrounds the rugby pitch. But if we're in England and the majority of the time the weather isn't so pleasant, <laughs> this is the place to be.
look at this place. You're on a world-class level 4G pitch. Why would you not want to come and stand up and study here? <laughs>